Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about branding within SharePoint Online and specifically we're going to look at the custom color teaming options which allow you to add a color team to your site which are going to help it align with the branding of your organization. We're going to cover the out of the box or standard color teaming capability you get with SharePoint Online and we're going to talk about its limitations because it is limited. Then I'm going to show you some options that we have to add additional secret branding colors into our color templates. We'll look at some examples of how this can be used. Then I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step walk through on how to create these custom color templates and we'll wrap up then with some examples of how I tend to use this additional capability to brand the sites that I work with. So pretty straightforward. This video is sponsored well by me and the Academy 365 SharePoint Site Builder Masterclass. This is a course that I put together which is for anybody who has inherited a SharePoint online site or is building a department site within their internet. The course focuses on the most common requirements that I see again and again and step by step how to build them. There's a big focus on user experience within this course and I've designed it so you don't have to be a techie to take it, right? This is aimed at any business user who wants to up their game within SharePoint. If you're interested, there's a link below along with a tasty discount. Now back to the video. So what's the problem? What's the point of this video? Well, for those of you who haven't really explored this topic of custom color teaming within SharePoint Online, let's give a quick rundown. So within any SharePoint Online site, we have a collection of settings called Change the Look. And basically within this area of settings within your site, you have the ability to influence the look and feel of your site across various elements. Now, the most visually impactful set of settings within Change the Look is the theming element, okay? So this is where we can choose a color palette that will be applied throughout our sites consistently. Um, now, where this color palette is applied is defined by Microsoft. And when we look in the team area, we see that Microsoft have provided us with a set of pre-made color teams ready to go, which is pretty cool. But unless you're extremely lucky um, or the stars have aligned perfectly, it's most likely that the colors that Microsoft gives us don't really match our branding. So a lot of organizations will want to create their own custom color palette to bring their brand into the sites and make it look recognizable and familiar to your users. So this is great problem solved, right? Um, well, kind of, but not really because the options that we have to create our custom color team are extremely limited. So to create a custom color team, we need to use this team designer, okay? And I'll put a link to this down below. And basically this is where we can specify some colors um, and then we can export some PowerShell code and then we can have that applied and it'll create the team, it'll be available within our site. Now this all seems great in theory, right? But when we look at this team designer, that's where the first real issue jumps up and slaps us in the face like a big fish. And yes, I did choose that phrase just so I could show that video clip from a simple person. So we can look over here, okay, and we can look at this team generator. And basically the, the problem is with the input that we can give it and well, the lack of input, let's say that we can give it. So it's gonna ask us for three colors. It's gonna ask us for a primary color, a text color, and a background color. And then you might be thinking, okay, that's three colors. That's a bit of flexibility. But in reality, background color is most often gonna be white or a various shade of white, okay? And um, that's gonna give you bright sights with a, a nice clean white background. Text color, well, we need that to contrast with our background color. So that'll typically be black or something very close to black. So that really just leaves us with the primary color and that's where we can put in our brand color. So you can play around with this and you can put in different colors and then you get these examples of how that color will manifest itself within your sites. So it's pretty good. Okay, fine. We can get one color in there, but it's gonna make our templates or our teams that we generate from this um, quite one dimensional when they're used within our sites. But don't worry, that's the point of this video. We have good news. We can actually modify the team that this generates to input some additional colors, which can be made available that we can then use within the site. Now we can't be very specific in where we want these colors to be used, but there's a couple of key areas we can add them in that'll make them extremely useful. There's also an additional color option called an accent color. That's not actually within the generated output, but we can put it there and it gets used within our site. So Microsoft are sneaky and they didn't put it in there even though it's an option that they use in my dad. Now look, I know that talking about uh, modifying templates and with that, what that really means is modifying the code that it generates, that might be a scary um, thought, um, especially for our IT folks. But really the modifications are very slight and it's not that we're breaking new ground here. Microsoft have actually used this same technique and to build their example sites in their change the look area. So we're not doing anything that Microsoft isn't already doing. We're just taking advantage of it. Um, and since they didn't tell us about it, that's why I'm creating this video to show you how to do it. So let's look at an example, okay? So if you've watched any of my videos or you've seen any of my thumbnails, you can probably tell that I try and stick to a consistent color theme or branding 
for my videos just to make them recognizable, I suppose. So for me, these colors are navy, pink, a kind of a luminous teal color and an orange color. And I think they work well together. So if I wanted to apply that branding to a SharePoint site, I'd create a color theme using the theme generator, okay? So in this site here, I've created a custom theme without any modification, okay? So I've really specified a primary color. So the primary color in this case is this navy color. Um, so you can see that, well, the site is definitely recognizable for me anyway, with my branding, um, it has that navy that I like um, so we can come in here and so we can see it's, it's used a lot within the site so we have it available as background colors we have it as this little accent color our links are that color and the text around the site can have that color if we come down we see various other things where it's used in the text overlay on images it can have that background color as well so we definitely make the use of the primary color 100% so when I come up into here into the cog and I go to change the look we can see in here the theme I'm using is this current selection which is my a365 blue as I've called it in here so I've used that on the site and it's grand so as I mentioned when we create this custom color theme it gets applied consistently across the site but it's quite one-dimensional um, and most often the way people kind of tackle this is they create custom images uh, that they can put on their site which will bring out the other colors. so we can see here on this site I have a meet the players section and this image here is just a standard image but I've kind of doctored it a little bit to bring the pink in um, so people do will tend to do things like that or create their own images all together which have their branding in it and that really helps bring it into the site where we don't have the option to style text and things like that with this color to bring it out so typically that's how people are going to approach it so how can we add more color okay how can we modify these templates well there's a couple of areas that we can do it and it's straightforward enough when you know what your options are let's look at another version of this site where i've implemented the changes i'm discussing in this video so here we see the one that i've just gone through which has the the navy color throughout all over the place and now we see an example of the same site effectively um, with the same content but where we've created our custom color theme where we've introduced some additional color um, so we can see here we've added the ability to put the the branding pink into our site so we see there's text here that has pink elements of it we can see the accents of the topic up here has pink in it um, we now have the ability to specify text as being pink which is massively useful and can be used in a lot of different places and we see that the pink color we have also gets applied in other areas in our site such as the text overlay on images so it's a subtle change but it's certainly uh, effective in my mind in that we can definitely see more of our branding coming through within our site and if we take it into another page within the site so we come in here this is all about less clay pool we can see here that we can add it in and again we get the text um, and simple things like that really help bring our branding throughout our site. So how on earth did I do this, right? What changes did I make in order to make this possible? Well, to understand that, let's look at the standard custom team and some of the options that we get with it, right? So when I come into this page, I'll just click edit. So we put it into edit mode and I'll come down here. And if I pick a bit of text, let's say, I'll pick this text and I'll look at my color options for this, we can see that there are team colors displayed in here, okay? Um, and if I was to hover over any team color, I'd get its identification uh, or its, its ID, basically. So if I hover over this fella here, I'll see that it is called Team Darker. And if I hover over this fella, it's called Team Dark. And this fella is called Team Dark Alternate, etc., etc. So you can see what each of these colors are, okay? Now, these colors here have been generated based off the back of that primary color we specified. So SharePoint has basically said, okay, you told me a primary color. I'm going to give you some various shades of that color that you can use. But, you know, in reality, I don't need five different shades of that primary color. That's not really that much use to me, especially because the variance or the difference is not really that much so the changes that we're going to do there's two main changes one is that we're going to hijack one of these colors and we're going to specify it as a different color altogether and that means it'll be usable for us in various areas in this team color area that we can pick and the second one is related to this fella up here where we have topic the color that influences what that is is called our accent color and that's the color that we can choose uh, to use in various places within our site Okay, so like I said, the changes, we're gonna change some of these team colors. And if we look back here in our team generator, we come down here, you can see here just by specifying this one color, it's determined all of these team colors. So we can see our team darker and team dark. So they're the ones that we're gonna hijack, which will be great. The accent color on the other hand, and we come in here and say we went to change the look, and we went to team. 
and we picked any of Microsoft Teams that we can customize, we see that they have a main color and an accent color, okay? So that's the additional color setting which they don't give us for some reason that we're gonna pop into our template. And again, we can specify that and it gets used subtly throughout the site. So step by step, how do we do this, right? Good news and bad news, right? The bad news is that in order to do this, you need to use PowerShell, right? Um, and I know that 90% of people watching this video won't have the permissions, the access to either use PowerShell or, or you know, apply PowerShell code um, within their sites. And that's totally fine. The real purpose of this video is to make you aware that this is an option, okay? It's not a change that you're gonna be making every single day. You'll create your template once, and then it's there to be used through the user interface. It can just be selected, okay? So the idea here is that you know these options are here, and you can take that information to maybe your marketing department or maybe IT and get a custom color team made. Um, so that's the bad news, PowerShell, right? The good news is the PowerShell that we're actually talking about is, is as basic as it comes, right? It's very simple and straightforward. This is a change that will take two minutes in total and you're done, okay? So, so nothing to get too stressed about. Okay, so now let's create one of these custom color teams step by step. The first thing you're going to want to do is pick the colors, okay? Now, we know that the standard custom color team gives us one brand color, but we're now gonna have two colors. So we need to decide what the colors are going to be, okay? So it might help you to mock this up. So I tend to mock it up in that I want to see if I choose two colors, how will they interact with each other as well as within the white space areas of the site. So we can see here that I've got a version mocked up where I can see my secondary and my additional brand color which is pink on top of my primary color and it looks good color the accessibility is good in terms of there's contrast it's readable and likewise on a white background it works well also okay so that's good and then we can look at a version where we're using the teal color okay and while it looks good on top of the primary color it's not so good on top of the the white background so the contrast is not quite there it would be hard for people to read if we were to use it in text so for me that means that I would pick pink rather than the teal color Okay, so now you've chosen your branding color, so your primary and then the additional branding color we want. We need to head back over to the UI team designer where we're gonna create the team, okay? So when you come in here, add in your primary color and it's gonna generate this default custom team for you, okay? So what you wanna do then is go to export team, come over to the PowerShell tab and you're gonna copy all of this text, okay? And what you're gonna to wanna to do is paste it into a text editor because we wanna make a couple of amendments to it. So when you paste it into your text editor, what we wanna change are these elements in pink here. So for Team Darker, you're gonna pop in your additional branding color. So in my case, it's the pink FF0099. And then down in the accent color, I'm gonna choose the same color again because I'm gonna have pink and navy as the colors that I'm gonna use. But you could make these different colors if you wanted to. So once you have it in here and watch all your semicolons and your, your quotation marks, just make sure everything's where it needs to be. So once you have that, now we're ready to actually apply the team to SharePoint. So you're gonna to wanna to open the SharePoint Online Management Shell. So you're gonna to need to be an admin to do this or get someone in IT to do it for you, but you'll see it's, it's mercilessly easy to do. So they're gonna to connect to your tenant using the connect SharePoint Online service command and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to paste in our team palette and then we're going to paste in our amended color palette. If you get this warning, just say paste anyway. We have that in, we press enter. So that's primed and ready to go. And then the next thing we need to do is provide a command to apply this palette to a new team that will be available within our sites. So to do that, we just apply this code here and we're going to change the name of your team to something that you want to appear within sites to be chosen. So that'll be the name of the team as displayed within SharePoint. So I'm going to call mine A365 Cool New Team. And then when you have that there, you just press enter. And anticlimactically, nothing really happened that we can see here, but trust me, the business happened in the background and that team is now available on our sites. And just to confirm, we'll come over to our site. So this is the demo where we've just got one color team applied. So we'll come in here, we'll hit the cog, we'll say change the look, and we'll say team. And in here, you'll see A365 Cool New Team. So I can select that and we can see the accent color was applied and I can also see it here. I'll click save and don't mind the other teams you saw on there. This is actually the seventh time I've recorded this piece. I uh, kept messing up the syntax. So now we've applied that team to our site. If I come into edit mode, I'll come in here and I can see that if I select a piece of text or a heading and I change the color, I now have this cool new pink color to use, which is gonna be super useful in adding additional color to the site. I tend to use it for headings or subheadings 
or for bullet points, or in this case, an arrow symbol. So a really good thing to do is get familiar with your emojis and the symbols because you can add them in and color them. So it's great for arrows or chevrons or that kind of thing. So we can change a couple of these just for demonstration. I come in here, I'll change this one. I'll change this fella as well. Looks like that one was already set before. I changed it to the darker color. And we can come down and we can also see that our accent color has been applied to the overlay on images, which is great. It really makes the them stand out, especially if you're using an image as a call to action. It really looks like a button there that sticks out against the primary color. And one thing to note is that up here, if you've got a piece of text on top of a colored background, um, if you go and try and change the color in here, SharePoint's gonna override it and it's just gonna give us these white colors in here, which is not what we want, right? The workaround for this is to temporarily, okay, change the section back to white. And then if we look at the color in here, we can change it to pink, change it to pink, and then come back in here, change it to a dark color and the pink stays. So that's really nice, that works as well. So having this additional color here in our accent and to be used as a text color is really useful. It allows you to get creative and really embed some extra color in your site. And the best thing about it is you don't have to rely on custom images now to bring in additional colors. You can use text, which anybody can do. And so there you have it. That's how you can shoehorn some additional branding colors into your SharePoint templates. Play around with it, have fun, and create some amazing looking SharePoint sites. If you liked the video or found it useful, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.